Hi everyone and welcome to Timmy Codes and today we are going to see how to create a Netflix pop-out video overlay like the one you are seeing right now on your screen. So how do you do that? First thing you need to do is to go over to pop.dev and look for a package called bubble overlay. Bubble overlay allows you to create overlays over your screen and it allows you to draw overlays over your apps as well and um, it's only available for android and doesn't work for ios now let's deep dive into bubble overlay the first thing you need to do is to install bubble overlay by adding dependency bubble overlay 0.1.4 in your postpec.yaml file i have done that here yes and uh, the next thing you need to do is to do a couple of configurations in your Android manifest file. So I'm going to copy this here and I'm going to look for my Android manifest file. So you go over to the Android folder, go to the app folder, go to SRC, go to main, and there's an Android manifest .xml file, XML file there, sorry. And um, so um, you go to the bottom of the application tag and just paste the code that you copied immediately after the flutter embedding and the next thing is to um, put the permission android permission system alert window this allows you to draw over other apps also the wake lock permission so i'm going to copy that and um, scroll to the top of your android manifest.xml file and paste it here now we are good to go all right so um i've created this sample app the one that comes when you um create a flutter app but i've modified a couple of stuff there by creating a function called the open video that currently prints open video in our console also i created a raised button widget that references the open video method using the unpress property all right so um let's go back to the bubble overlay instructions and we are told to create a local variable in our dart file so we need to initialize the bubble overlay class that comes with the bubble overlay package and at the top of my widgets I'm going to put the bubble overlay instance there and import the library. Okay, that's we are good to go. Now, um, well now we want to open the video from an external URL. I already have a video that we want to play in the bubble overlay, and this is the video. And um, the URL is here. I'm just going to copy that and go over to my code and then create a a variable called video URL here and I'm going to pass that the URL of that video to it um, also to play the video we are going to just call the bubble overlay that it has a couple of functionalities that you can method that you can use and um, you can use the is open property to see if a bubble is open you can also use the close button to and uh, close bu bubble overlay to close a bubble also if you want to close a video bubble as well you can use the close video bubble um, method also and but in this we are going to use the open bubble and it's asking for a path and the part will be the URL that we already have here. Um, it will be video URL because that's what we call the um, the variable. All right. So um, it has a couple of properties. Other than this path, it has the start time in milliseconds, and it has the control type. The default is the standard, and um, there's a, an end service tax there but we are only interested in the start time in milliseconds this property allows you to put a delay 
between when your video will play and then you have a control type that's uh, to the media player control that comes with the plugin but for the sake of this video we are going to just put the start time to 1000 uh, 15000 just like and then the control type you can decide to put the control type to minimal or standard let's put it as standard standard is the default and we are going to close that now we are good to go now let's try to run our app again let's run our app now our app is open so let's test the functionality when we click on the open video it should pop out a video player that overlays other app now the first time you click on the open video it's going to ask you for permissions to draw over the app i've already done that permission so you will see that in this video but let's test this open video now it closes our app and pops the video player now you see our video playing and you see all the controls there this is a netflix like video pop-out player and then you can close that all right that is the end of this tutorial if you enjoyed this tutorial I would like you to like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification uh, button so that you'll be able to see a couple of these video in features. In future, I'll be um, doing more of this video to review packages that the wonderful people have created in the public dev community.